welcome you to this session of averages and in this session we will solve a few more questions based on the deviation method so let us move right into the questions so you would remember this is the same question that we solved initially by the equation method the average age of nine students is 19 years if the age of the teacher is included the average increases to 21 years and what is the age of the teacher? There should be a space here. So let us try to solve this by the deviation method. Now what is the first rule of the deviation method? The first rule of the deviation method is which average to consider. There are two groups here. One group has nine students and then there is the teacher which forms the other group. So in order to solve this question by the deviation method, we will consider the average of the total number of people in the group. That is 9 students and the teacher. So what is the average of these 10 people? The average of these 10 people is 21 years. And when we calculate the deviations, we will calculate the deviations from 21. And these 10 people are divided into two groups. The first group and the second group. The first group has nine students whose average age is 19 years and the second group has one person whose age is not known to us. So we will first calculate the deviation on these nine students and then we would be able to identify the deviation on the age of teacher. So what is the deviation on each of the 9 students? The deviation can be calculated by 19 minus 21 that is minus 2. Now this is the deviation on each of the 9 students. But there are 9 students. Therefore the total deviation can be calculated as minus 2 multiplied by 9 which gives us minus 18. So minus 18 is equal to the total deviation and this total deviation is on how many people? On 9 students and we know that deviation on the 9 students which I have written there as D9 plus the deviation on the age of teacher the sum must be equal to 0. So minus 18 plus the deviation of teacher must be equal to 0 and that will give us the value for deviation of the teacher. So deviation on the age of teacher must be plus 18. So if the value of the age of the teacher is x, we have x minus the average that is 21 is equal to 18 and if you solve this basic equation you will get the value of x as x is equal to 39. So this 39 is the age of the teacher as we calculated earlier on also. Let us take a look at another question. The average weight of 20 students in a class is 51 kg. If the heaviest one in the class leaves the class the average weight of the remaining students goes down by 2 kg. What is the weight of the heaviest child? So let us solve this question once again. And the first thing to determine is what is the average from which to determine the deviation? Obviously the deviation has to be determined from the total number of students and total number of students is 20. So this group of 20 students can be divided into two parts. One is the heaviest child which I represent by H and the other is the remaining 19 students of the class. Now what is the average weight of these 20 students? 
it is already given as 51 kg and what is the average weight of the remaining 19 students we are told that when one student leaves the average goes down by 2 kg therefore for the remaining 19 students the average weight will be 51 minus 2 that is 49 kg and since we don't know the weight of the heaviest child we will assume that weight to be x once again our basic equation will be deviation on 19 students plus deviation of the heaviest student this sum must be equal to 0 now what is the deviation on each of the 19 students the deviation on each of the 19 students can be obtained by the average weight of each of the 19 students minus the overall average that is 49 minus 51 and this will give us minus 2 but because they are 19 students the overall deviation on 19 students will be minus 2 into 19 plus the deviation on the heaviest of the students and their sum must be equal to 0. So therefore we have deviation on the heaviest student as plus 38. Now what should we do? We will calculate the deviation on the heaviest of the students as x minus the overall average which should give us the deviation of the heaviest student. So on solving for x we will get x which is the weight of the heaviest student as 51 plus 38 that is 89. So once again we were able to answer this question without having to write elaborate equations or without having to engage in major calculations. Deviation method is a very effective method for solving certain types of word problems in averages. So with this we come to an end of this particular session. If you want to watch more videos or if you want to solve more questions please log on to our website www.pfindia.com or you can ask your doubts by writing to us at studentservices at pfindia.com or if you are watching this video on our website please use the ask a doubt feature. Thank you very much.